Welcome to another episode of Horizon Forbidden West. And let's go. First, I'm gonna save here. And we need a mount. You let me take a look at you, stranger. Why? You look like someone who can give a quest. I don't, I don't want to talk with you. you. Shouldn't miss this chance to trade. Let me see what you got. Shark bolt blaster, blaster. Did I say blaster? Blaster. Hmm. This could be handy, but I don't want to spend my money on it. I want fire, not frozen shit. And armor, I want sneaky, like max sneaky and. A protection from all elements. That should be fine for me. Yep. Outlander, face me. Shut up. I don't care. What do you want? Okay, let's go. Oh my. How did I fell like that? Well, I need a mount. Woo! That was cool. Is that something that I can ride? The land out here is sick with blight too. But we'll be able to heal all of it. Once Sky is strong enough to capture Hephaestus. <coughs> This is not something I can ride. <coughs> this is a bird, bird. That means I'm just walking. I wish I, I wish I could uh, ride the stalkers. They look like a cheetahs. That means they're faster. A Tanakh settlement. Gonna have to watch my step. Yep, I'm going through here then. Hello? You guys not you guys not alarm right? You guys don't wanna attack me, right? Not one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given right of passage by Marshal Fashov. I'm not here to fight. Hair like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter. But mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. Arrowhand. What am I doing? What's wrong with me? All right. What kind of place is this? Chaplain telling you what battles to fight. The real battle is arguing with you. I offer you an honorable trade. A lot of wounded. What's going on? No idea. Not my problem right now. Resources. I don't need anything. Certain there's nothing you require. Yeah, I don't really need anything. Come on, you give the same shit. My bow damage over time. Could I look at chance over time? 
Ooh. These are expensive. Can I sell something? Ow, my neck. Um. Oh, I already have it. Blue one. Tools. Valuables. Hmm, I have some money now. Wait a minute. If I had that. My bow, right? It has a slot. How do I put the stuff in it? I'm confused. Hmm. Not this. Inventory, right? And then we go here. Nope, I did not want to press that. Um wanna put this on my bow! Oh. Am I dumb? The slot is closed. I cannot put anything in it. Alright. That's kind of dumb. I feel like I'm playing the game in hard hardcore mode. This is my stash. I don't have anything for a stash. Okay. What about my upgrades? I have some points. This is something that I can use, I'm pretty sure. And tapping. Now, these are not really important. This could be good. Push strike an enemy with melee attacks to build up energy on your spear. Then, when fully charged, tap. Okay. And this. Oh, stun. Oh, this. That's the same thing. Oh, okay, that's good. Right, I can put this. Wait, what is this? Ooh. R1 and I hold R2. That's it. Okay. I look to use this spear a lot. Because it's easier for me for somehow so, somehow I cannot tell you I'm kinda tired, sorry guys. Oh my god. Which way I have to go? Be guided by the tank. What is that? This writing. It's Karja. I think it was left behind by Marshal Fashov. The people complain. All warriors must learn to survive lean times. Wait a minute. What is the way of getting out? Getting out of this place? This is the way. There must be something on the way I can use, bro. I don't want to just walk there. Let me just go up 
And then I use my glider. Well, we have a big journey on our head. Not on our head. I mean, we have a big journey ahead of us. What is that? <gasps> How to get close? What is that bristle bag? Oh my. I thought it, it's something I can ride. For fuck's sake. 1000 meters, bro. It's hella fair. <coughs> unknown lens. Damn, this, this is literally unknown lens. Ah, I want to do finisher on him. Is that? Oh, Tallneck. I can go. Look like there's any way to climb this Tallneck. Really? I have to use the glider for it then? What the fuck is that? Oh, is that Thunder Jaw? I know what to do. We have to jump from a high place. Like somewhere there. Alright, oh that's a fucking thunder job. I don't think I can beat it. With controller and with the power I have right now. Oh, I'm not here guys. I was never here. Holy shit. They probably made it really stronger this time. It was easy, like a cake before. Well, let me just go. Really dangerous places. If I was playing on the PC, I would destroy them. Literally. But I'm not really trusting myself on the controller. I don't want to waste your time just dying many, many times and spawn all the way back off the map. You know? It was fun on the PC, now it's not gonna be fun, so I didn't have to fight with them. Obviously I have to find a way to like destroy some machines to upgrade myself, but it's fine. Empire? And we'll save. Uh this? No. Shit. I can have only four manual save. Rather than nothing, I guess.
Well, getting close to Ether's location. The guy said it would be in some kind of physical processor. Fifty minutes, and I'm still not reached to the point. Interesting. With Tanakh's warriors everywhere. Hergala's army only grows in strength. She struck a blow to us at the embassy. This much is true. But we are made of steel. We will not yield. Regala's forces may seem strong now, but her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight. But still, they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Blood of the Ten. You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Light. <laughs> yes. You are known to us. I am Dekka, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's... there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. Come. Is that one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the Chief. Visions? These visions. You said they're the records of the Ten. Who are they? Old ones. Who fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound, but over the years, they've fallen into darkness, one by one. That is why chaplains are so important to the tribe. We remember all we can of the visions, etched in our flesh, passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark, but chaplains who come after me will keep the memories alive. Well, how do they see that shit without focus? That's my question. What does it mean to be a chaplain here? We who outlast our youth study the visions and share their wisdom with our young. What kind of wisdom? How to be a true warrior. To fight with bravery and unflinching honor. And to know when to call for peace. You can see for yourself when we go inside. I know you want to go inside. Just let me just ask my questions. Why does Hikaru want to see me? We are at war with Regala. And you've already shown that you can stand against her. I'm not here to fight a war for you. Not for us. With us. But I won't try to persuade you. That is for the chief. He can be very convincing. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room at the far end of the grove. Come, be welcome among the records of the Ten. Uh, how do they see that without focus? It's glitched. Incomplete. Their full truths are lost to us. It's a chaplain's duty to make sense of these visions as... 
As best we can. You guys are dumb. Joint Force 10 active. Led by the These weapons were the battle. The ten were dedicated soldiers, working together as a squad and sharing in their duty. And when the time came for battle, they took to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. Before the chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. You guys are not really different from other tribes. During their war, the ten climbed sheer rock, braving blinding snow and wind. They stopped at nothing to protect their own. You make them sound invincible. They weren't. But the visions tell us of their courage and strength. Something our soldiers aspire to. The Sky Clan admires this one above all the rest. They make their home in the mountains northwest of here. Ten claimed her the desert. Desert. Ten seized the desert. Others the soldiers coupling enemy lines. What's this one about? The ten waged war against their enemy in the desert heat, a land too harsh for any to survive. But against all odds, they prevailed. So the Desert Clan does the same. You must have passed through their territory on the way here. I did. They seem a little... extreme. They take that as a compliment. Which way? This way. Let me see this vision too. Soldiers in a jungle. Those were the ten? Yes. They knew how to use the jungle's depths to distract the enemy until the perfect moment to strike. Generations ago, my hey, clan, Islander. the Lowland, looked to this one went, for inspiration the as they claimed the jungle to the southwest. Why don't you guys stop talking? When someone else talking to me, like, what do you want? You have an old world recording? This box was speaking with voices of the old ones. Now there's noise over them. Let me take a look. Where did you find this? We took it from an Asaram Delver. She was trying to steal it and other artifacts from Tanakh territory. The others were going to bury it in the sand with her. But then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but... Delta Juliet 9, you are weapons free and clear to engage the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta Juliet 9, out. The voices of warriors from the past. And that Osiram wanted to sell them for shards. The bravery of the Ten should be remembered. I'm not sure what you mean by the Ten. These voices came from the final battle of the Old Ones. Another battle? 
I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. That Delver did say there might be more recordings to be found in the wreckage of ancient flying machines. She claimed she had a way to locate them. Yeah. The box with the voice data on it is emitting a locator signal. I could use it to find the others. If you do then, bring them back here. I will see to it that they're treated with proper respect. Whatever sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers, we will honor them. And you will pay the price, right? Let me know when you have one that you'll part with. Do you get many Osirum Delvers in Tanakh's territory? Fewer every time we catch them, but those thieving rats would do anything for the shards. There'll always be some who will risk coming here. And what do you do with the ones you catch? Delvers spend their lives in the dust. So we bury them in it. Alive. The fuck is wrong with you, man? Why do you want these recordings? Every battle teaches its soldiers. We should learn those lessons and honor those who fell. That is our way. Okay. If I find more of those recordings, I'll bring them back to you. Well, I don't think I will, but... Anyway, let's go. My focus can detect beacons from those recording devices. Should help me to find any others that are still out there. Nope. I have many better and more reasons to fucking do not... What am I saying? I... I have important things to do. Yeah. The chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? Yeah. I'm ready. Good. Come. Where? Sorry. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. It's underneath the throne. I will see you soon, Outlander. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior. A man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals, but if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement, something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of Marshal slain. I count hundreds more to knock them, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now and taking what I need to save everyone? Ha! <laughs> you could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. 
Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Root. I've sent out a call for the competition, but since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the Cool Root. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit? Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Katala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stonecrest. Meet him there, and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. Ah! Uh, fuck's sake. Why? Nothing can be easy, bro. Like, open the fucking basement. Let me handle my business and I will go. That's your business. Not mine. Bitch. Fashav called Regala your greatest mistake. Why? That is not your concern. Really? I fought against her forces at Baron Light, and I don't even know what her problem is. She was the deadliest of my marshals, the point of my spear. So what happened? Above all, Regala despises the Karja who burned her younger brothers alive. After we turned back the red raids and tore down the battlements of Baron Light, she hoped to chase them all the way to Meridian. She could not see the cost of such a war, nor the benefits of peace after the Mad Sun King fell. When I accepted Avad's entreaties, she went mad, called me traitor, challenged me before the marshals. And you didn't kill her? What did you do when Regala challenged you? If you were to knock, you would know that such a challenge cannot be refused. It was not easy to subdue her. I bear seven scars from that fight. The other marshals wanted me to execute her on the spot, but I found I could not sever the bond between us. Her loyalty had been as boundless as her rage, so I spared her. Rather than mercy, she took it as a humiliation. One she will never be free from. Ha! Huh. So Regala wants you dead. She does. But that will not be enough. She won't rest until all three clans fall in behind her as she marches on Meridian. Who knows? With machines under her control, perhaps she can raise it to the ground. It's been tried before. So I hear. Ah. Huh. But they were failure. I'm sorry about Fashav. He seemed like a good man. More than a man. A bridge between Tanakh and Karja. No outlander ever earned our respect as he did. I had hoped he would be my voice in Meridian. That peace with the Karja might become something more. An alliance? An exchange. The Karja have much we lack. Our deeds are written in ink upon our bodies. Our memories die with our flesh. But the Karja never forget. Their deeds are written in book and scroll. You wanted to learn from them? As I learned from Fashav, he will be missed. Hmm, you guys were like boomers. And then Fashav came, explained you guys how to use tablet, how to use phone. And now you guys want more. Crazy. Um, what exactly is the cool route? Where once the clans fought each other, now we fight as one against the machines. That is my law made manifest in the cool route. Each clan must send contestants whenever I call for the ritual. These contestants face trial by combat against machines in an arena just beyond these walls. Those who distinguish themselves become marshals who bind the tribe together as peacekeepers. 
Okay. Peacekeepers. Dying Light 2 has also peacekeepers, but they weren't that good. You called them peacekeepers, but the marshals I met at the embassy were warriors. Warriors, yes, but more. They renounced the clan that birthed them and pledged themselves to order and peace. They enforce my law. They settle disputes and stand for Tanakh in parlay with other tribes. Without them, I cannot rule. Which is why you must ensure the next cool route takes place. Fuck you, man. You're making me really waste my fucking time. Why won't the Sky Clan send contestants to the cool route? Of the three clans, they have the most defensible base, protected by a mighty wall called the Bulwark. Their commander believes he can wait out the war between Regala's forces and my own, safe behind his barrier. Staying strong while you and Regala weaken each other. You think like a seasoned marshal. Good. I mean, that, that's common sense, duh. Am I marshal too then for you? I can fight for you if you pay me. Why send me to deal with the Sky Clan? All to not respect strength, and you drove Regala back at Baron Light. That and most of your marshals are dead? Correct. What about Catalo? Can't he do it by himself? He is maimed. They will no longer respect him. That hardly seems fair. What is fair about losing an arm? Whether they respect him or not, Catalo still has worth. He knows the Sky Clan. He was raised in their base. He will guide you well. Uh. You said you saw what's in the basement? I did. On the day of my greatest victory. What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years, killed whoever stood in my way. When I had finally slain all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to savor, or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east, and a bolt of blue struck this place. That chamber. Gaia dies, and Aether arrives. All around me, the visions of the grove grew louder and brighter, and suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old one spoke. And what they said changed everything. Bruh. That's just AI. What did the old one say to you in this new vision? The one called Faraday foretold the growing danger of the machines. And said we must unify to stop them. She called for marshals to enforce the peace. Then the vision faded. Never to be seen again. I marked the spot where it shone with my spear. And I took Faraday's words to heart. Renounced war between the clans. Trained warriors to fight machines. Ordained marshals through the cool route. Since then, the tribe has been at peace. Until Regala attacked at Baron Light. And the chamber beneath the throne. You went in after the vision? I did. Inside is an ancient device. It hums with power. You will see it for yourself after the cool route. This I swear. This I swear. That sounds like my English. I'll do what you want and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised if you succeed. Speak to Decca on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. Yeah, I need a fucking mount. Anyway. I will end the episode here. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sadly, we have to do a couple shit before we can reach the uh, component. And then we have to bring that to the guy. So it might take two to three episodes, but we'll see. Maybe it's gonna it's gonna be so easy. Maybe I can just do it in one mission and it could be over. But yeah, take care and peace out.